Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer. Don't forget to check out the questions down in the description. Today we're going to be taking a look at James Madison's presidency. James Madison, of course, the fourth president of the United States, um, president from 1809 to 1817. He was a member of the Democratic Republican Party. And so let's just jump right into some of the things here that James Madison did uh, while president. Or actually, a few things before he was president. Um, so when he's elected in 1808, uh, he defeated the Federalist candidate uh, Charles Pinckney. I remember Pinckney had been uh, John Adams' running mate, had run against Thomas Jefferson before, and, you know, just couldn't win. All right, but anyway, that's who uh, James Madison defeats is Charles Pinckney. Um, a few little things here about James Madison. He is the shortest president in U.S. history. He was only five foot four, and so he's really, really tall, really, really short, but what he lacked in height, he made up for in brains, I guess you would say. He's kind of considered to be one of the most intelligent presidents we've ever had. Um, some of the things that he be, he was famous for, uh, he was famous for his contributions to the U.S. Constitution. In fact, some people called him the, the author of the U.S. Constitution because uh, if you remember back to the Constitution uh, and the Constitutional Convention, which I'll post a video about here, um, in the Constitutional Convention, they were arguing over these different plans like the Virginia plan and the New Jersey plan. Well, remember, uh, Madison was very much involved in the, in the creation of the Virginia plan, and that's what a lot of our Constitution is based upon. Um, he was also one of the authors along with Alexander Hamilton and John Jay of what's known as the Federalist Papers, um, which were a collection of uh, articles or essays basically arguing for why we should ratify or accept the U.S. Constitution. Um, and so he was responsible for that. He was also Thomas Jefferson's Secretary of State. Remember, Secretary of State takes care of foreign affairs. He was Thomas Jefferson's Secretary of State during his entire presidency and was very instrumental in the Louisiana Purchase, of course. Um, but his presidency, John, uh, James Madison's presidency, is really dominated by foreign affairs. Again, hopefully you're getting the idea that throughout the early 1800s, France and Britain are kind of the big news, all right? And, you know, the United States trying to stay out of conflicts between those two countries. And remember, in 1807, there was that embargo act that Thomas Jefferson uh, had put in place, basically stopping all trade with foreign nations. And actually, James Madison was in favor of that, but it had hurt the economy, and it actually kind of uh, plunged the United States into a depression. And so it was kind of surprising when James Madison actually becomes president because he was so in favor of this embargo act. But actually, the embargo act had been repealed uh, before, um, before James Madison took office. But when James Madison takes office as president, he's actually facing a lot of pressure from these young Republicans known as war hawks. Guys like uh, Henry Clay and John C. Calhoun are pushing him to basically try to support a war with Britain because Britain was harassing American trade so much at this time that uh, there were a lot of people pushing for war. Remember, Congress is the only one that can declare war, but they were wanting the president to come out in support of a war. And actually, by June of 1812, he does go to Congress and he's the first president to go to Congress and actually ask for a declaration of war, which uh, then happens later. I think June 18th of 1812, they declare war. And of course, that's where we get the War of 1812. Now, I would start getting into the War of 1812, but I'm going to make another bell ringer. Actually, I'm going to make a series of bell ringers all about the War of 1812. And that's really the big dominant issue of James Madison's presidency. So I wanted to mention one other thing here real quickly with James Madison and his presidency, and that is First Lady Dolly Madison. First Lady Dolly Madison, I guess you could say, you know, George Washington set the pre precedence or the standard for presidents. Dolly Madison sets the precedence for First Ladies. All right, so she comes in as you know first lady of the United States and really starts shaping what that is going to be. And actually, kind of interestingly, she had married James Madison in 1794. He was 43 years old. She was only 26 years old, but she had been widowed. Her her first husband had died. Um, she actually had a son from that first marriage, but. Um, during Thomas Jefferson's presidency, she had been kind of the one who had organized all of these, uh, I guess you could say, you know, presidential balls or, you know, functions at the White House. And this was an important time for America because we were trying to say that we were legitimate and these foreign nations were coming to the coming to visit the White House and we had to put on a good show. And Dolly Madison was kind of responsible for a lot of these big socials or, or, or parties that they had there. And it's during her time uh, that, you know, she kind of formally starts, you know, uh, endorsing like charities, which is what a lot of uh, 
first ladies do today. She worked a lot with, you know, orphanages there in Washington, D.C. Uh, one of her most famous things that she does, of course, during the War of 1812, she saves the famous painting of George Washington as the British are, are burning the city. Uh, We'll get more into that in another bell ringer as well. But like I said, Dolly Madison, you know, she was one that was loved by the elite class of Washington, D.C., but also loved by the poor. She kind of bridged the gap uh, between the like two classes, between the rich and the poor uh, there in our nation. And so she really set the standard for first ladies or really set the, 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 was the role model for first ladies from there on. Okay, so hopefully you learned something there, and thanks for watching.